Okay, hello, you motherfuckers. So here's the here's the uh, hook on this video. The hook. You got to have a hook. I'm just painting it with uh, Liquitex gouache paint. Uh, so I've got red medium. Is that or red deep? Deep red, wasn't it? I'll reach over and get it. It's fine. What? Yeah, it's red deep. Uh, Liquitex acrylic gouache. Now you're saying what? Ah! You're painting it in such a scruffy manner. And look. Ah, it's not. GW paint gouache is going to be. It's going to. No! It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it is gouache. But this gouache dries. Um. Properly, it won't, it's not like watercolour. And it's meant for sign writing, so you get very vivid, bold colours. So I, thought, I wanted to test it anyway. You can't, you can't pin me down. You can't box me in. So just do two coats. I thinned it a tiny bit. But you don't even have to, If but if you don't thin it, it's going to take you longer, because you're going to have to make sure. But it will dry really flat anyway. But, you know... The simplest advice anyone will give you, which isn't really advice, they go, you should thin your paint. Thin your paint if you want to be a cool Warhammer bro. Yeah, obviously. Do you know what I mean? It's not advice. But with this, you don't really need to thin it. You could paint straight from the part, and you could with normal paint anyway. Just spread it out on the miniature. It's the same difference, isn't it? Uh, so don't listen to people. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm doing. This will probably look shit. Yeah, it's all right. Do it, just do paint on it. Hello, welcome, I'm back everyone, bye-bye, bye. Right, you painted it on and then it dried, look. Second coat, isn't it? Uh, note with gouache. This is specifically Liquitex Professional Acrylic Gouache. Um, it's, uh, it dries water fast, which is not like other gouache, really. Um, but it dries a little bit slower, so... Make sure it's dry before you do the second coat. And then do the second coat. Um, much like the same. Much like the first one. All right. <laughs> um, look. There you are, look. It's fun, isn't it? Do you want, do you want more... Uh, what do you want? <laughs> what, <the laughs> what do you fucking want from me? Huh? Um... I'm not going to talk about what's Warhammer and that. I had an idea that if you did a podcast as long alongside painting, it'd be like a shit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, just if you're going to do a Warhammer podcast, which is already pretty boring, um, because who's who's going to listen to that? 
Do you know what I mean? It's not it's not like other games, is it? You just play it, the rules keep changing, there's an army that's stronger than the other one. I don't even know what it is anymore, I haven't played in so long. And then what well, get a guest on. I'm like, hey, what do you think about the uh last results of the fucking some sort of fucking tournament? What do you think? What about that army comp from fucking? And then what would someone be called in Warhammer? I'd be like Sisters of Metal, <laughs> or like there'd be like a girl called like Battle Sister O One, and then there'd be like the last competitive game I played uh, it was at Games Workshop against just a cheat guy who he got the flame template on his orcs, and he went the flame template. This is back in flame template days, guys. Uh, he went, it can go, and he moved it, he pivoted it everywhere. And I can't just let him do it. I was like, yes, this is a fun cheat. Go ahead. Um, what am I doing? There's not even time for music now. Looking at my, I'll make it on Windows Movie Maker because I'm so pro. So I'm just going to talk it out. There we go, look. There you go. You'll get more music. The music's better than me talking, isn't it? You don't want me talking. breathing out there you go look just and there's a br I basically dry brushed it on it's great it's really nice paint and it dries super thin down you know when it dries it uh contracts it's lovely like gesso i say gesso but it's gesso bob ross says gesso right there we go what am i doing in this phase now we're we're out in a raw now i'm looking at it so look at the lovely flat coat you get from that isn't that nice Nice deep red. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to shade it with a brown. I, my light is really bright. I don't know shit with my camera, guys. I've got some sort of... I bought a better camera, but... That's too good, in a way. Like, I used to just do it on my phone. It's better, it's easier, but it's not better. Anyway, my light and shit. I'll have to get it better, don't I? Thin down. This I did thin down a lot, because I'm not... Can't be bothered to use a wash. And then, just in the recesses, I painted that burnt sienna... It's like a brown. Any brown will do. You could just use a wash. I'm just using for a little bit of a niche, fun time. Sorry, you might not have seen before. Uh, <laughs> I'm using Liquitex Professional Acrylic Gouache. Anyway, do that. This time to music. Okay, bye. Right, so you can sort of a little bit see the difference. You'd have to look at them side by side, really. But trust me, you need the brown to really pop the mid-tones, you guys. When the mid-tones pop, you're really gonna rock. 
and you're gonna feel cool to your friends. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not making fun of anyone in particular. You could take your pick of fucking people who take this seriously. I mean, I like it. I don't hate it. I sound a bit neggy on it, don't I? Look, I got a lighter red. And then, see what I've done? Where'd I paint that lighter red, look? I painted it on the raised areas of the armour. See all the ways that people talk about putting paint on a piece of plastic, a little plastic toy. <laughs> I'm really slagging myself off and you. Um, but you can talk about it to make yourself sound so much smarter. Like, there's there's differences. I'm not a demon painter. There are demon painters out there. They can talk like a, a maniac. That's fine. They know what they're talking about. But when you're just hitting tabletop stuff, like, there's no need to hit the raised areas of the armor with your, your lighter tone. That'll really pop the armor. It's gonna pop. It's gonna pop on the tabletop. When it pops on the tabletop, you're really gonna rock. I'll see you Thursday night in the Thunderdome. Um, you just highlight, do highlights. I think I did two. I got a lighter red. I might have even done three with a spot one, like just a very edge one. Look, it's lighter. See, I just put it on my thumb. Maybe you should probably thin it down a little bit, just so that the, the coat is thin enough that it doesn't look like a little, uh, little splodge. And look, you just put it on the raised bits. It's as easy as that. Then you get a lighter one, and you do it on the more raised bits. So not the, all of it, like 75% of it. It's easy, isn't it? It's not, it's not hard. Um, I'm going to slag off. <laughs> I'm more happy with slagging off of more happy. All right, there's... Again, I've I've talked into the next music, but I went around the whole thing doing that. Um, I don't know why I filmed the fact that I was drinking booze. I was probably a bit pissed. What am I doing now? We'll see now. I'll get it in focus probably. By my keyboard, look. I just push all my shit away. And then I focus in on where I paint. Focus it. Look at that. Look. Oh, look. It looks all highlighted now. It's starting to look like a... Every metal miniature. If you want to paint every metal miniature, just highlight it like they do. Look at a picture of heavy metal. There you go. They use. See, they'll use. If you look at the heavy metal painting red masterclass, they'll like use brown as a base coat, then mix brown and red and use that. There, there's this. It's just quality red paint, so you don't need to. And to be fair, that's not slagging off the fist on red. This is in the old days. Before my fist on red. My fist on red changed the game. My fist on red. Contrast. 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 Um, that, so that was a light colour. I'm now going to apply that light colour to the raised areas of the armour. And... <laughs> but less of it. Less of it this time. Okay. Less of it. Don't do as much as before. Thank you. 
Right, so then I just got black and then I blacked in all the bits that aren't red, more or less. I always miss some, but that's what I did. That's what I did, all right? There you go, look. And then it's all Blue Peter Badge, didn't it, already? Didn't he see me just painting stuff black? And I think there's a whole section of stuff where I missed something that I painted. But we'll see. Like, once you've done the red and the highlights. Really, if you want to know how to paint something red, it's done. Now you're just watching me finish the miniature. In fact, I might just edit it down now. What should, I, should I just edit it away? Like, you're just watching me. Like, I just that's just... There's a gold paint that's gouache. Um... Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Then when I did the metals, um, I painted I painted the tubes and stuff silver. That's all fine. Um, then I just washed that stuff black. You can put a bit of brown in there as well, a bit of devil and mud or whatever. Set from sleepier. Uh, and I also tried out, which failed on his thunder hammer. I tried brush painting a gold colour change paint, but it wasn't. It didn't work. I'll just experiment more with that. I'll be able to get it to work. The blue works. Brush painting it. I know that for airbrush pros, you're gonna use your airbrush because you're not gonna get the coat that you want with a brush. But the airbrush lays down fine particulate matter. <laughs> And you want to use a gloss coat under your metallics. Then it's really going to pop. We're just making a minute to pop. Hit your pachaka pachaka back. <laughs> like that song, hit song. Probably most of you have never heard the hit song. To be fair, it's a poor example. Song poorly. <laughs> anyway, I just put the metal on. Um, the same thing applies as every time. It's why I don't do many, because it's always the same, isn't it? Um... Yeah, I'm going to skip right through all the colours. I just use the darker one and then I use the lighter one on top of it. <laughs> I don't know, There's not even anything to look at now. You could just click off. Click off. Click off. Click off. No. Um, or don't. Please. Uh, I'll pop back if something is interesting. Uh, I just clicked it. Uh, uh, like, like, rate, and subscribe. <laughs> go look I'm the, I use blue for the purity seal wax um, I use purple and blue guess why purple darker than blue in it yeah yeah I'm pretty good um, also when I did the base I just picked whatever colors and did them I tried to pick colors that weren't red or reds because they're different uh, it's usually a good idea boring in it i mean obviously a red man will sometimes walk through a red place especially in the horrors of the far future <laughs> like a red town he's like i saw red how are we going to spot each other they were like don't worry about it i've got enhanced bionics i'll use my enhanced bionics and superhuman vision and reflexes to make sure i don't shoot at the wrong people i'll only shoot at the bad red guys you know red corsairs turn up blood angels are there it's east london Red brick. Actually, I think East London's like all brownish, isn't it? It's full of dickheads. 
<laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Um, this is, you know. I'll keep doing it, though. It's fun. Right, bye.
Wow, what fantastic tunes. Great tunes by whoever. I haven't put music in yet. Look, there he is, finished. What more do you need to know? What did I not cover? There was nothing I didn't cover, really. Um, the girders on the bass. I just used metallic. Well, obviously I used fucking metallics. But bronzes, because I hadn't used bronzes anywhere else. Look. See? It's easy. I forgot to put a wash on his face. I did that later. Um, you could put some... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> That was me rubbing my face, I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, there you go. Um, that's, that's that, that's the end of it. So bye.